The New York Yankees are cooked. You see, Brian Cashman has assembled teams that can't even beat the Red Sox, yet alone beat the Astros. See, let's go back to 2017. John Carlos Stanton becomes a Yankee. The only reason why you made that trade is because you couldn't beat the Astros. Now, let's fast forward. Boston, Red Sox, your historical rival. You haven't been able to beat them either in the postseason. Fast forward to 2022. The same old nonsense. You went out there and got Gary Cole. Garrett Cole gives up a two-run homer to the ninth hitter. Lows up the bases. Chirino comes in. Or Trevino. So many Chirinos on his team, I'm getting confused. He doesn't attack the hitters with his sinker. The reason why he was brought into that game in the first place. After the bases were cleared, after the Astros went up five... He attacked hitters with his sinker, got the ground balls. Wow, it would have been nice if that would have happened before. Obviously, Boone took out Cole, his ace, when he loaded the bases. I guess he was staring into the future, seeing Gary Cole's pitch count. I think he's that delusional, thinking that the Yankees are going to come back at this point. And you're going to save Garrett Cole, but you're not supposed to take him out. He's your ace. He's the guy making the most money on the field. So that made absolutely no sense. But I could see why it would make sense if Trevino got those ground balls, which he did. But after the fact, the Astros put up, what, three more on the board. So there's nothing to say here. Uh, These players are dead weight. They can't hit. Other teams figure out the recipe on how to beat the Astros. See, the Astros have only won one World Series since 2017. And all these other teams figure them out. Except the Yankees. The recipe is quite simple, yet so hard for these Yankees. Offensively bring it. Great starting pitching. Great defense. And a great bullpen. They had almost everything going for them in Game 1 and Game 2, except, yet again, their offense, which was completely cold yet again. If the Yankees get eliminated, which is looking like they are, I had hope for them. Going to repeat how I just mentioned that other teams can figure out the Astros and beat them. You would think that hitting wouldn't be so hard for the Yankees. If the Yankees get eliminated... You have to clean house. I don't want to see John Carlos Stanton being a Yankee anymore. I don't want to see Donaldson being a Yankee anymore. I don't want to see IKF being a Yankee anymore. I don't want to see numerous players be Yankees anymore. Because you specifically brought in John Carlos Stanton to perform in high leverage situations and specifically to beat the Astros. Yes, I'm sounding like a Karen, but... If you're not going to hit, if you're going to get paid all this money, if you're supposedly this elite slugger, you're going to have to put in your part. Let's not forget about Judge. Judge carried the the Yankees all the way to the playoffs. So I'm going to give him a little bit of of a pass. Guys like John Carlos Stanton, guys like Josh Donaldson, there's no excuse. It, It just makes Cashman look even more ridiculous. Again, the title of this video. Yankees are cooked. Cashman assembled teams that couldn't even beat the Red Sox, yet alone the Astros. This is five seasons in. This is laughable. This is quite sad that we have a GM that, for one, ignores everything common sense, misses out on Harper, misses out on Machado, misses out on all these players, misses out on Correa, misses out on everybody. Supposedly to save a penny, but he went out there and got Josh Donaldson. I went out there and made a 
few videos saying, what are you doing? This makes absolutely no sense. He makes, it's like, wow, do you really want to give up the Yankees' chances in winning a World Series time and time again with your boneheaded moves? Montas, where is he at? F. Ross, where is he at? Torino, whatever. These moves happen over and over again. Look at the Astros with Pena, started a rookie. Oh yeah, we're going to get a stopgap in IKF, which the fan base absolutely despises. And we're just going to ignore common sense. And, you know, we're going to be delusional and say we're in it to win the World Series. Well, guess what? You can't hit. You have offensively gone cold. You have a manager in Boone that I guess the Yankees are playing the way they're playing because that's just the way the Yankees are ran under Boone. No energy, no hype, no urgency, no common sense. Just uh, delusional. And this group of Yankees can't hit. Struck out 30 times in the first two games. Almost got no hit again in game three. These are a sad bunch. They can't beat the Red Sox when they're good, when they're in contention. And they absolutely can't beat the Astros when they're in contention every season because they obviously have better management. They obviously have better players. They obviously have the will to win. So, let me finish out by saying this. This is the hardcore facts. Yankees, Cashman, the Astros aren't cheating anymore. And they still own you. So, what excuse are you going to make now? Hmm? The Guardians are a few seasons away from really owning the Yankees as well. The Yankees have gone backwards. Excuse after excuse. I don't know about you guys. Do you have patience to wait another season to retry to win the World Series? Knowing that Boone is your manager. Knowing that Cashman is your GM. Because I don't have the patience anymore. Unless they change their tone. Unless they go out there and get the players that they're supposed to get. Trade away the players that they're supposed to trade away. Maybe I'll have some confidence. But as of now, it's just a re recurring thing. It's annoying. It's quite sad. It's depressing. And look at that. Yankees are down three games to none. Maybe they'll win a game today or tomorrow or whatever. But this series is over. I had some hope because other teams beat the Astros. They're not invincible. Other teams have figured out how to beat them. You've had all this time to figure them out, all these seasons. But then again, it just proves that the way the Yankees are being ran, nothing is going to change unless we make changes, unless Hal Steinbrenner makes changes to the front office. That's just how things are going to change. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. I will be appearing on NYY News TV designated spitters today. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.